So this question says, or starts off by saying that C is equal to 5 ninths F minus 32. So this might be a familiar formula to you that you've already learned in school about converting between Celsius and Fahrenheit. Um, it goes on to say the equation above shows how a temperature Fahrenheit or temperature F measured in degrees Fahrenheit relates to a temperature C measured in degrees Celsius. Based on the equation, which of the following must be true? So again, I like to always write down equations that are provided because I may need to manipulate them in some way. So might as well just get started and write that down. So it looks like this just jumps straight into a process of elimination type of question. We're not really given anything additional outside of the formula itself. So I have to basically test every answer choice to see uh, to see what works and what doesn't. So choice one says a temperature increase of one degree Fahrenheit is equivalent to a temperature increase of five ninths degrees Celsius. Well, let's see. How do I test that? Well, I can use kind of a plug in your own number method here, in which case, right, a temperature increase of one degree Fahrenheit. Well, let's say originally my Fahrenheit was, and let's make this so I don't have a negative number in here. Let's say my Fahrenheit degree measurement was 33. So what would happen if F were 33? So if F were 33, I'd have C equals 5 ninths, right, 33 minus 32, which is just um, 5 ninths times 1, which of course is just 5 ninths. Now if I increase that by 1, now I have F equals 34. What happens then? Well, that becomes C equals 5 ninths. 34 minus 32, which becomes 5 ninths times 2, which is, I'll call it 10 ninths. So the question was, um, or the answer choice says, is equivalent to a temperature increase of 5 ninths. Well, yeah, right? So 5 ninths increased by 5 ninths, right? Or kind of plus 5 ninths does in fact equal 10 ninths, right? So when I increase my degree, my Fahrenheit number by 1, Right, so a plus one, I got a plus five ninths on the C. So I like, I like one, um, and for that reason, I immediately get rid of B and C because answer choice one is not an option there. So let's look at two. Right, so again, I can cross this out as well because I all I have left is A and D, and three is not an option there. So let's see uh, option two. So option two says a temperature increase of one degree Celsius is equivalent to a temperature increase of 1.8 degrees Fahrenheit. Well, let's try that. So again, I'm going to use the exact same plug in your own number method. And I'm going to say, well, if initially C was equal to, I don't know, let's say uh, 100. So if C were 100, what would happen? I'd have 100 equals 5 ninths F minus 32. And then, of course, I'm trying to get F by itself, so I would multiply both sides by nine fifths because I want this five and five and nine and nine across out here. But then on this side, I can treat this like 100 over one. Five goes into five once, five goes into 120 times. So I'm left with a nine times 20. So I'd have 180 is equal to F minus 32. I can add 32 to both sides. And, <clears throat> sorry. I'm left with F equals 212, okay? So that's the original. So now if I, if I increase that by one, so let's see what happens when C equals 101. I can do the exact same math. So I'd have 101 is equal to 5 ninths F minus 32. Again, the exact same process again, which is 9 fifths being multiplied on both sides. Again, the 9 fifths crosses out on the right-hand side, leaving me with F minus 32. And then I have a little bit more work to do on this side, but 101 times 9 is 909. So I'd have 909 over 5. I then add 32 to both sides. I have a little bit more work to do now. I have 909 over 5 plus 32 over 1 is equal to F. But in order to combine those fractions, I need to have a like um, the lowest common denominator. So I'm going to multiply top and bottom by 5. 32 times 5, because we don't have a calculator, I just want to show you nothing wrong with writing it off on the side. 5 times 2 is 10. 5 times 3 is 15. Plus 1 
is 16. So now I'd have 909 over 5 plus 160 over 5, which is equal to, again, 909 plus 160. So I'd have 1,069 over 5 will be my new um, Fahrenheit temperature versus the 212 that I had initially here. And the question is, is it um, an increase of 1.8? Well, I can divide 5 into 1,069 and let's see what I get as a decimal. So 5 into 1,069, well, that's 2, so 10, 0, bring down the 6, that's 1, that'd be 5. 6 minus 5 is 1, bring down the 9, and then 5 into 19 is 3, which is 15, the difference there is 4, 4 doesn't go in, so I put a decimal point, I'd have to add a 0, bring down that 0, it's 40, 5 into 40 is 8, so I have 213.8, and yes, what do you know, right, 212 was what I got when C is 100, 213.8 degrees is what I get when C is 101, and yes, that is an increase of 1.8 degrees. So two was also correct, meaning that choice D is the best answer here.